My name is Karl Otto Buk. I am uh, working with Elstrom Sales in Denmark. We are just outside Gibraltar. Uh, I hope to show uh, basically how to use and uh, trim your uh, furling sails. Uh, first of all, the in-mast furling mainsail. It is easy sailing, uh, but uh, if you want to do it all properly, and the best way is uh, that you should point the nose of the boat into the wind. Um, if uh, you have the wind on any of the sides, you can have the wind in a little bit from starboard side because of the way the sail furls in and out of the mast on the starboard side. Um, so, give it a try. So we try to unfurl the mainsail. We start the whole thing with open the clutch for the main sheet. And we have already prepared the art hole on the winch. We'll open that clutch too. But I keep a hand on it. And we start with furling out. Carl is pushing the electric furling button to unroll the sail from the mast while using the winch to pull out the mainsail and keep some tension on it. I'm just going to put out the self tacker so we get a couple of sails and give the rig a bit of a try and check out the alignment. Coming a little bit into the wind so you can tighten more. You, you can tighten the sheet more on. Ah, uh, yeah. 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 We got the wind after all. Yay, Gibraltar and Tarifa. We usually get a breezy day in here. The wind generators on the hill are spinning. We're headed toward Africa. When you get the, what you wanted yeah. to do is get the boat healed over. So this yeah. is it. We're healed. Yeah. More than we normally heal. But that was fun. <laughs> but we can check and see yeah. there's the inner the lower is just a little the lower is a little loose and you can see the intermediate the d2 is very loose which is good uh, and the uh, cap shroud is actually just tight so i think we are very close on a, really? on a very good rig trim here tuning the rig refers to setting the tensions of the wires or shrouds that support the mast the cap shrouds run right from the deck to the masthead and must never be loose even when sailing hard. The lower shrouds, or D1, run up to the lower spreader, and the D2 run up to the upper spreader. Carl Otto tells us the lowers and the intermediates can be a little loose when sailing hard, and you can see the lower moving here. So how much are we healed? About 25 degrees? Or yeah, 20. Yeah, 20. 20? Yeah. This is only 20? Yeah, 20, 25. Maybe now 25. Yeah. <laughs> um, hold on, chair. Hold on. <laughs> nah, it's not. It's not normal cruising sailing for sure. No. <laughs> so we're gonna take a look now at the mast and see what it looks like. It's pretty straight. So maybe it would be normally tension up the backstay a little. We could do that. We could do that. But what I'm also looking at now is how it bends sideways, and this mast is not hanging on any of the spreaders. The mast tube is quite straight, even through the spreaders. So that makes, a, makes us uh, being very satisfied with the cap shroud tension and the D2. So we could just take up a little bit more on the, on the lowers and then we have a perfect setting here. So sorry, bring in a little on the lowers you're yeah, saying? Yeah, okay. just one, just a half or maybe one turn on both sides. Perfect, yeah, so it's oh good. that's good. Yeah. We are, uh, when tensioning the backstay, we are bending the mast. Uh, more mast bend means a flatter mainsail, but we're also stretching the forestay, which, well, makes the same with the headsail. It makes the headsail flatter. So we have one tuning device, the backstay, which is doing something positive with both sails if you use it the right way. What we uh, would like to see now is uh, what the backstay tension is uh, affecting. And we are now on a medium setting on the backstay. Um, and it's quite heavy winds. So, okay, so you want me to yeah. We're looking straight up at the backstay and watching the bend in the mast. Pulling the backstay tighter moves the top of the mast aft and bends it, which changes the mainsail shape 
Here you see it getting looser again. Looking closer, you see that when the masthead moves aft, the sail gets flatter, which depowers the main. Loosening it again makes it fuller and more powerful. So as the wind rises, you can depower the sails by tensioning the backstay. This will work for a wind increase of two or three knots, but if the wind rises more, we can reduce the sail area, reefing it by rolling it into the mast. Perfect. You should always be careful with not having too much tension on the sheets and outhaul when handling the furling system. It just puts a lot of stress on the on the whole system. Right. If you have the outhaul too loose, is there a danger of the sail holding on itself or anything like that? Well, the long battens are uh, ensuring that it will be very very difficult to, uh, to, to furl this sail uh, folded it's right. almost impossible the buttons is a very good insurance for not making that happen right. so so you, you you should always have slightly tension on the outhold that gives you the best control over the whole situation right. 